Peace be with you. Welcome to my channel, Healing Life with Positivity, 24-7, 365, 365 and 24 7 We are healing, growing, glowing, learning, and or overcoming. This channel is dedicated to my inner child who always wanted to say something. And so here this channel is. I've given birth to it allowing her to speak by way of uh, my adult self. <laughs> Satisfying the inner child is always a good thing. Nevertheless, if this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, let me be the first to say, hey there. Hi there. How you doing? You're fine. You're doing good. Wrap your arms around yourself and let yourself know that you have overcome everything because it was always in divine timing that you would. Now, if you're returning back to the channel, hey there, hi there, hello again. I love you. You are my beautiful soul tribe family. Look at us growing and glowing so beautifully, healing, obsessively, compulsively, and or deliberately following those things that we know our intuitive nudges are telling us to follow. Because when we are aligned with our higher self and we've overcome all of those things that were hard to overcome, we know that the universe loves that. The universe loves an attitude of gratitude, right? You know, thank you for all that I've had to go through, the good, the bad, the ugly, and or the indifferent. And my soul is forgiving of all people, places, and things that have done things to me because I see them as children. Everybody's just a child, right? Even the people that have done wrong to me. Needless to say, let's go ahead and get into this reading. So today we're going to be focusing in on spirit messages, divine ancestral messages. There are certain things that we need to just be reminded of, right? So you could be seeing butterflies. You could be seeing pennies. Did I say pennies? <laughs> I meant to say pennies. Was I going to say pentacles? Pentacles? Okay, maybe that's on my other platform. <laughs> Needless to say, Let's just see what spirit has to say. I got three cards here. So this is from my spirit message oracle cards deck. I love it when I get a nice new set of crispy intuitive cards with beautiful messages. So this card says that our ancestors are reminding us, trust the weight. Ooh, you know what that just said to me? There's the moment that you ask for something. And then the moment when it arrives, right? That's the in-between time, the waiting period. Everything's in divine timing. Sometimes you're being molded and shaped too, right? For what it is that the universe and or the most high is preparing for you, depending on the level of what it is that you're asking for. So that means in between the time you ask and the time that it comes into manifestation, the most high is saying, okay, now... I'm going to need you to come up to the level of this blessing, right? By way of your character, by way of patience, it absolutely is a virtue. So this says, trust the weight. You are being prepared for your blessings. In order to receive, you have to be ready to receive. Things you are going through now are not random. Trust the flow of the universe. These are nice cards. They're so cute. They're so nice. They're so earthy. Next card, spirit message. It says, if it is meant to be, it will be. You won't have to force, convince, worry, over worry, and or lose sleep. Let it flow. Let it be and let it come to you. You are attracting everything you need. Trust the timing of your life. Ooh. These are so nice. I'm so excited. This is the first time that I'm reading any of them with you all. Well, I did pull one earlier and it was just spot on for something that I feel my ancestors needed me to know at that time. But overall, this is the first time that I'm, I'm pulling multiple cards, obviously. I just got these fresh out the mailbox. Didn't even know they were there. Nevertheless, it says, you are so much closer to a powerful breakthrough than you may realize. You have been praying for things to heal, new opportunities to appear, relationships to improve, and these prayers will soon be answered. So this is the season of reaping all good things. Somebody comment down below. I'm in my season. 
And I'm trusting the weight, you know, patience, trust, control, you know, allowing source to mold and shape you, allowing your spirit guides to uh, shape you from the inside out, I just heard, you know, making sure that, again, you have the character, the know-how, the wisdom, the expertise, the spiritual expertise in order to handle the level of the blessing that you're asking for. And I don't know about y'all, but this is absolutely the season for big blessings. <laughs> Show us what it is. Our beautiful spirit team ancestors want us to know. What are the angels saying? It says, keep moving forward. Even if you are unsure of your next step or where it might take you, trust that you are walking the path you are meant to walk. Ooh, it's a trust fall. You know, it's a trust fall. Yeah, it's a trust fall. It's like I'm trusting the universe to catch me. I'm trusting the universe to support me. I'm trusting my spirit team is going to guide me. I'm trusting that the most high is guiding me to the perfect plan for my life. On that path, there is peace, there's understanding, and there's acceptance. Sometimes it might be things that, you know, could happen that, you know, that you didn't foresee and or anticipate. But in that, there's peace, right? That surpasses all understanding. Health is wealth, y'all. You know, what profit a man to gain everything and have no peace in it, right? So on that journey, if there's something that happens that you, you know, you are learning, hey, that was out of my control. What could I have done differently other than what I've done? You know, it really does go back to which card is this? Card number two that says, What's meant to be, just let it be. Don't force it. Let it come to you, right? We attract. We don't chase. If somebody walks out of your life or there's a breakup, then I guess that was our time together, right? <laughs> Release them with peace, love, and light. And also allow yourself to be released with peace, love, and light, right? Yeah, moving forward, it says. I like it. The next step I heard. What else do we need to see? Spirit, spirit messages, oracle cards. I like it. I like it so much. Oh, let's just see. This says self-awareness is key. Take time today to go within and spend time with your soul. Go for a walk in nature and ground yourself. Meditate. Listen to your favorite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do more of that today. Oh, I like it. I like it. I want, I listen. That's absolutely something that one should focus on obsessively, compulsively, and deliberately until it becomes a habit. These are good habitual habits <laughs> that can only get better, right? Next card, it says, Spirit says, what areas of your life are you avoiding? Are you causing yourself to be upset or worried? Disrupted sleep? If so, these are the areas you need to focus on. Yeah, as much as you don't want to, it is necessary. Tackle your demons head on. Don't allow them to rule you for a second longer. Ooh, because one second can turn into a minute. A minute can turn into, you know, a half an hour. A half an hour can turn into a whole hour. And an hour can turn into a complete 24 hours. Yeah, listen. You know, I always tell myself, you know, if I'm feeling a certain way or something's made me feel a little funky, you know, or a memory that comes up in my mind, I give it a certain amount of time and I get quiet. You know, anybody that truly, truly loves me and understands me, they know sometimes I go within. Sometimes I'll turn my phone off uh, because I feel like I don't want to project that funky little feeling onto anybody else, right? Right. And so I give myself permission to go within, go within. Yeah, really like search myself. Like, honestly, y'all, this is a real moment. I'll talk to myself and be like, what's going on? <laughs> like, where's, where's this feeling coming from? Okay, you sad, sad. What is that? Depressed? What's, what's going on? And then I get to the root of it and I always tell myself the truth. I don't care if it's something I don't want to accept if I'm feeling insecure or out of place or there's a fear or or something whatever it is i give myself permission to go within and then i say okay look we're gonna give this 24 hours okay we're gonna think about this and then after that we ain't thinking about it no more we're gonna let it go and if i catch myself picking it back up i remind myself mm -mm, don't do that to yourself you know why because nobody's coming 
Nobody's coming to save me, coming to save you. You have everything that you need on the inside of you. And you're talking to somebody that understands depression, anxiety. Oh, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. Once you're able to control or delete the things, people, places, and things that are causing you to feel a certain way. Y'all know I used to think I had depression and I realized, oh, it's not me. It's the people around me. And so I jumped ship. I said, where's my soul tribe? I got to go somewhere, you know, where I don't have to force it. I don't have to force a square peg into a round circle shape. I want to be myself. Okay, listen, never had depression. It was about authenticity. It was about walking in my purpose. Yeah, if you're not doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing in life, hell yeah, that's going to be depressing. You have to have a real conversation with self. Somebody comment down below. I always have real conversations with myself. You always got to pull yourself to the side. Anybody that doesn't understand that outside of yourself, nine times out of 10, that's not your person. Those aren't your people. Because what more are they requiring of you? Okay, when your cup is empty, you know, it goes a little something like this. Hey, people outside of me. Yeah, I, I love you. I know you love me too. Thank you. Here's a wonderful opportunity for you to exhibit just how much you love me. But I will absolutely exhibit to you just how much I love myself. I'm going to need 72 hours. You're like, what? Yeah, I need 72 hours. It's, okay, I, Nothing's wrong. I just need to go have a conversation with myself. And you do that. And what's the worst that can happen? People have to lean on their own or they have to wait. And, you know, maybe uh, you will inspire them to take a 72 hour trip with themselves. It's OK. This is healthy. It's balanced. Why? Because it allows you to fill your cup. That's just straight off the top of my spirit. Freestyle. Listen, this says, oh, see, prime example. I love spirit. I listen, spirit. Shout out to spirit. Shout out to the creator of all things, divine providence, the God above all the gods. Listen, this says, be true to yourself. Did I not just say that? Okay. Be true to yourself in all ways. Not everyone will get you. Oh, this is amazing. They can only understand you from their level of perception and that's on them. Oh, this is what I was trying to say. No matter what people say, don't ever doubt your worth or your beauty. Yeah, you got to hold that on on the inside of you, your worth is within. Stand tall in your power. I want to add to that unapologetically. You know, what am I apologizing for? You know, yeah, I catch my children all the time. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't raise sorry people. Okay, don't. I would prefer for you to apologize and then ask yourself, what are you apologizing for? Yeah, no, be yourself, be authentic, be real. Okay, if with nobody else, be it with yourself. Because once you go within and you really start to walk in that truth and you tell yourself the truth no matter what, it's so easy to have an honest conversation with other people. I tell people all the time. That's like the, the guy who came over, the maintenance guy, y'all. Let me just tell y'all a real quick story here on Healing Life with Positivity 24-7, 365. That's it! So the maintenance guy, he's kind of got a crush on me, right? But I'm not interested. Well, you know, he's okay. But nevertheless, he's kind of got a crush on me, right? So the lights in my living room weren't working and I needed one of those really long bulbs. It's like outdated. Nevertheless, long story short, I text him and I say, listen, this is not a good week. I will be back with you later. Why? Because I was just kind of in a mood, you know, I was going through an ascension. I'm doing readings, you know, and... Just a, a few other things, right? Okay. He shows up to the house, knocking on the door. I said, who is it? Oh, it's me. I said, me who? <laughs> I cracked the door about this far. I said, didn't I tell you? <laughs> I said, didn't I tell you? I was real calm. I didn't raise my voice, but I spoke in my truth. That is the moral of the story, right? I said, didn't I tell you that, I, that you couldn't come this week? Oh, oh, oh. I said, yeah, yeah. Go back to your text. Oh, I lost my phone. I said, I know. You lost your phone, though, before I text you. Remember, I text you on the new phone. Don't play with me. See, I keep it a buck. Okay, you want to have a conversation with me? Your best bet is just to keep it real. Okay, I'm not trying to hurt you. But what are we doing here in life? Let's just be honest, okay? If we have to share the same space, 
If we have to be on the planet together, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. Nevertheless, that is a great example of me having to calmly, you know, unapologetically, unwaveringly, unmoved, unshakably tell my truth. Needless to say, the next card says, Spirit says, make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. Ooh, that smells like the dark night of the soul. God forbid it. Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. Yeah, that's dangerous. Because if they don't value you, then they really don't know who you are. That means you don't know who you are. And that nine times out of 10, they don't know who they are. Abort. That's wrong. Throw the whole relationship away. Even throw that version of yourself away. <laughs> you need to know your worth. Even when others don't. You are not what people think you uh, think you are and what people think of you. I meant to say, listen, yeah, that's some real spill. That's some real conversation right there. I dare you to do that obsessively, compulsively, deliberately for the next 24 to 48 hours. I dare you. Yeah, listen. Spirit says, have more faith in yourself. Be proud of how you are navigating every curveball that life has thrown you. Whoo, ain't that the truth? Seriously, let's just have a moment of silence and take a deep breath on that one. Ain't that the truth? Listen, have more faith in yourself. Be proud of how you are navigating and have navigated every curveball that life throws you and has thrown you. Listen, you still alive. We out here playing dodgeball with energies. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a reading on that on my other platform. Join me over <laughs> on the other platform, our sister station, Neff. <laughs> what am I? What's my name over there? The Great Oracle Goddess, Angel, something of that sort. I don't know. You know, sometimes I evolve and my name changes. Nevertheless, it says how you deal with those times shows your true inner resilience nothing can break that yeah that in itself is an inspiration for others keep shining your light Ooh, i want to add unapologetically to all these cards unapologetically yeah mm -mm, be yourself you know cater to the authentic nature of self if we all were the same that would be so boring Ooh, I love quirky people. I love the underdog. I like the ones that are very eclectic and very eccentric. You know, the ones that are like, ooh, why is she wearing that? I love those people. You know, I love people that are authentic. I love colorful people. I love people that are real. Yeah, keep it real with me. Don't tell me no lies. Listen, this says, Spirit says, it is time to stop letting worry rule you. Instead, get excited about your future and all that it will bring. Yeah, just get excited for no reason. Yeah, you know how many times I've had so much stuff going on in my life and I learned after I'd gotten rid of the people that were making me feel depressed, depressed as in pressing down my authenticity, they were stopping me and I was allowing it and I was like, ooh, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I got out of the job that everybody thought I should have, you know, and I took control of my life. Depression, that is depression. And I was like, yo, I ain't got depression. I've never taken psychotropic medications. I've never been on drugs. I never overindulged. Well, back in the day, I did used to smoke a lot of weed. I really did. But it was because I enjoyed it. <laughs> and then one day, I'm going to be honest with y'all, true story. I learned how to maintain that euphoric feeling by way of meditation. Yeah, isn't that something? True story. People look at me now, they're like, what are you on? I'm like, meditation, carrot juice, ginger, <laughs> ginseng. Like, seriously, in real life. Yeah, listen, I needed it at that time and now I no longer need it. Okay, well, you know, things come and they go. But nevertheless, I got all my brain cells back. <laughs> This says, what energy and emotion you put out comes back to you with a little conscious effort on your part, that happy ending can and will be yours. Believe that. Oh, I was going to say before I ended my own thought that I've had times 
where shit was going on in my life, like all bad, right? And what I mean by like all bad, it was a tower, right? It's a tower moment. It's time to make a change. And life was pushing and, and telling me, listen, okay, listen, you're asking us for all these great things. And, and, you know, the guy disappeared, the friend disappeared. You said you wanted to be happy. So this is why things are starting to fall away, but you have to trust the process, right? I promise you an attitude of gratitude in the middle of pain will absolutely make the universe bring things into fruition that are absolutely miracles. I kid you not. So fast. Like I would just put on music and be like, oh, well, I guess the bills will get paid. You know, I was in transition, you know, going from working a job I didn't like to just giving it all away. And be like, you know what? That's it. And guess what? Money came out of nowhere. I'm like, wow, just for me being happy. Yeah. Stop worrying yourself. Don't you worry about it? Mm -mm. Source is never late. Spirit is always on time. Somebody comment that. Whatever it is that I need by way of my immediate needs, be that a place, shelter, housing, car, money, food. Source is always on time. So get glad and celebrate as if it's already happened. Put on your best outfit when you do it. It just makes the manifestations a whole lot more fun. Listen, kind reminder. Psst. You, excuse me. We're not going to make it out of life alive. So take some pressure off yourself. Listen, wear the shoes, damn it. Wear the nice outfit, okay? Somebody saved the outfit for the day and they didn't make it, okay? Now somebody else is wearing their outfit. Okay, listen, sometimes I go off the deep end and sometimes I get a little too deep for myself. I sit back and be like, damn, that was deep. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Spirit says, with a little conscious effort on your parts, that happy ending can and will be yours. Believe that. Ooh, comment it down below. That happy ending is mine. I believe it. I do. Have you not paid enough dues? You know, is your inner child still needing something? Give your inner child whatever it wants. Okay, yeah, in a world full of people that need us to be serious all the time, have fun. This says, Spirit says, don't place limits upon yourself. You are an infinite being with unlimited potential. You can have and or be anything that you want. Somebody comment down below, I can do anything. I'm limitless. Okay, it's just a kind reminder. It's not as if these are words that we've never heard before, but it is a really nice kind reminder, isn't it? You're like, oh yeah, that's right. Let me remind myself. Sometimes you got to snatch yourself. Hey, remember who the you are. Wait a minute. I'm limitless. I can have anything I want. Okay, lovingly guide yourself back to the tracks of common sense and or consciousness. <laughs> Don't hold yourself back, it says, or allow anyone else to. This is your life. Live your truth and remain heart-centered at all times. When I see heart-centered, I think of alignment, okay? Spirit says, whatever you have been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. Oh, this is for me. This is for me, y'all. All of this is for me, okay? I'm just, thank you for coming in and us having a real, you know, conversation. That's what we do here. These are conversations with Neff. I might change the platform's name. Conversations with Neff, healing with positivity, 24-7, 365. Because we're just sitting here. You're just coming into my humble abode. I'm sharing my house with you. Mi casa es su casa. And we're having a real heart to heart, right? How many conversations have you had where you ain't got nothing out of it? Ooh. God forbid, rebuke it. I'm allergic. I don't have those conversations anymore. No, ma'am. No, sir. Listen, it says, whatever you have been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. Tackle that long overdue project. Oh, I got to do that, y'all. I got to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It says, you will feel better once you begin. Start with one thing at a time. Thoughts and ideas not acted upon are just laying in wait. Oh, you can do this. Just think about leaving money on the table. That's how you need to see your manifestations. You know, when you put them off, if there's a whole bunch of money on the table and you need it, you wouldn't forget that that money's on the table. And this is how you need to see your ideas, right? Give me two more, Source, please. And thank you. Can we just get two here? 
for the collective, for my beautiful Soul Tribe family. Thank you, spirit messages. This says, when a door doesn't open, do not, I repeat, waste your time and your energy trying to make it open. It's closed for a reason. You are being redirected. Something far bigger and better is waiting for you. Endings are a part of the cycle of life. Let things end so something new can begin. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. Ooh, I got to get these to y'all. I'm going to do a raffle here, y'all. I'm going to put together like a care box, you know, with like a candle, maybe some stones. You all comment down below what you want. And I'm going to send out a couple of boxes. I'll, I'm going to do it around the summer. The summer is going to be a really big time because then I'll be transitioning by way of my son being out of school. And it'll be fun for him to help, you know, put those boxes together. And you always want a child with high vibration helping you do something. And my son is a, a really cute little young shaman. He's so cute. Y'all should meet him. You will one day. You'll know him. Listen, he'll be known. Trust me. <laughs> oh, my God. He tells me one day, the other day, actually, he says, you know, I think I might have been your dad in the past life. I said, oh, that explains everything. <laughs> He bosses me around. He's like, mom, no, 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 no. So funny. Needless to say, spirit says, instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop, breathe, reevaluate. You are doing enough, even if it doesn't feel like it. Don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. This is me too, but I love what I do. I love being here with y'all. I do. I do, but I get a chance to rest too. I'm very, I'm very grateful and fortunate that I get to rest. I get to wake up when I want, you know, 20 plus years of waking up, you know, to a clock. And I still have to do that sometimes with my son, but yeah, that's a blessing. I'm so grateful for that, right? But it says, don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. It is not worth it. Balance your time more wisely. Ooh, these are good ones, y'all. These are really, really good ones. Should we pull some angel numbers? Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? What else are we going to do? I mean, doing nothing is not an option, okay? Heck no. Let's just see what we got here, okay? For the angel numbers, I'm just going to pull three cards and see what, see what the angels have to say now that Spirit has had its say and our Spirit team is collaborating and I'm so glad because I know this message is going to find you right on time. I'm sending you peace, love, and light. Yeah, this is beautiful. Three cards for me, please, and thank you. Angels, what do you want us to know? Hi, angels. What do we need to know? Oh, they gave me four, so I will be obedient in taking four. And you know what's so funny? All of these cards, well, three of the cards have four on it. 1441 0440 1414 and 909. Ooh, that's interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, y'all, is 1234. Dang. Are we are we that aligned that the angels are talking to us so clear? Like, how can you miss the messages? You can't. You got to be, if you're missing these messages, you're doing this on purpose. Nah, don't do that to yourself. Don't you miss these messages. 1441, it says unique skills, life goals, mission, sense of self, honesty, important projects. It's that time of intense self-development. Again, third time that self-development's been mentioned in this uh, particular session and or conversation with Neff. Neff as in I, myself, me, myself, and I. Focus your mind on your craft, it says. You already have what you want and you already have what you need to succeed. But practice makes you a master. Ooh. It also serves to find your true purpose. Leveling up in your career or business is of priority right now. Spirit is saying it's about divine timing. Something about right now, y'all. I don't know if it's the Piscean energy, the dreamy energy, the new moon that's coming in. Something needs to like be done now. Okay. Did we not just read something about procrastination? Right. Did we not just read something about procrastination? Yeah. Whatever you want, whatever you've been putting off, spirit is saying, uh-uh, don't do it no more. That's for me too. 
That's for me too. I got something right now in the forefront of my mind that I need to do. Okay. So this says 0440, the gut feeling. Ooh, this is about following your intuition. Mm-hmm. Listen to your intuition. Betrayal and pessimism. Relating, value, insight, increased perception and or intuition. Did I say that? Yeah, I did. Love and monogamy. Follow your gut. So somebody could be in relationships or something that you just need to close the cycle out on. Lovingly though, okay? It's all good. Your time is up. It's, see it like that. It's okay. There's plenty of people now that are going forward that you need to meet. And sometimes that's just the way that it is. It says, follow your gut. It's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite you in your ass. Ooh, three's a crowd. Ooh, that's interesting. I might have to do a reading on that. If you got a feeling about somebody, or you're in a karmic relationship that does not support any of what is mentioned here, you need to take a step back and you need to reevaluate this union, relationship, Whatever it is, it could be with a mama, a daddy, a cousin, a dog, a cat. If you feel like you need to get rid of the dog, damn it, get rid of the damn dog. If you got to get, listen, okay, let me come back to the middle because you know I can go on several tangents, okay? Uh, there's always enough to say. There's always more to say, dot, dot, dot. Listen, 1414, 14. it says light up, mood swings, respect, family, constructive outlook and quality. So this is really piggybacking off of that gut feeling and unique skills. Don't let anybody block you. This is family ties, okay? You could be seeing 444 and 1111. You are seeing 444. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, focus your needs, desires, and your hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities. A new friend or an addition to your family is coming soon. Good vibes will speed up the process. So somebody could be having a baby. If you're expecting and you're having a baby, it's so important to stay in good high vibes. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Why? Because you don't know who you're giving birth to. You could be giving birth to one of the most powerful earth angels to ever come into the world. Listen, don't let everybody touch your womb, I just heard. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do a reading on it on my other platform. Join me over there simultaneously, maybe on another day. All right, so it says 0909, new beginnings. Yeah, somebody could be having a baby. Nine, nine months, okay? Courage, accomplishment, endings, conclusions, big love. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major. It feels like a good level up. Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Ooh. Step into the unknown fearlessly. Fearlessly, I step into the unknown. Somebody comment that or touch and agree energetically, etherally, however you want to do it, baby. I receive it on all levels, timelines, realms, and or dimensions because this is good stuff right here. I love these cards. I got more cards coming, y'all. I'm going to post my post office box because I get emails of people that said they want, um, what is it called? Like a wish list. I wasn't aware up until recently. I'm like, oh, a wish list. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, so I appreciate that. For the people that have already sent me things, I took my PO box down because, <coughs> oh, excuse me, because people were sending money. And, you know, the guy that runs my PO box was like, no, you know. I'm like, I know, I know. So people were sending money. I don't really want to encourage that. And I kind of made mention of it, but they weren't listening. And so we just don't want to take the chance of mailing currency, you know, with all this technology that we have. And so, yeah, but nevertheless, I'll post my PO box again. Um, shout out to the person. If you're on here, the one that's sending me the angel Bible, you are an angel. I love you so much. I thank you. Your emails brighten up my life. 
some of you I go really deep with. And I'm just grateful for my soul tribe. I really am. I'm really glad to be here. But I love y'all, okay? So this is the message. If it resonated with you, I'm happy. If it inspired you, I'm happy. If it is, you know, uh, igniting your healing obsessively, compulsively, and deliberately, I'm really happy about that. We're just ringing the bell for the victory, right? Ring the bell for victory. It's a beautiful thing. Do that for yourself as much as possible. I love y'all. I do. This is the part where we take our arms. Ooh, we wrap them around ourselves and we tell ourselves self. And you're like, yes, this is self. <laughs> you are well, all is well. The most high is pleased with you and you're doing a really good job. And encourage yourself to keep going, to keep striving, to keep thriving. And to just really have a really good time. Yeah, enjoy life, right? Okay, you deserve it. Look how far you've come. Celebrate that. Then pat yourself on the back and reassure yourself that you are your number one person. I love y'all. I always come in peace, love, and light. I'll see you soon. Peace be with you.